Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In the video today, we have a very important message from Our Lady for today. This message was given to Vika. We encourage you all to ensure you watch this message to the end. We pray and hope that this message will bring about the salvation of souls. Amen. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, Amen. Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you, blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Come Holy Spirit fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit, instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise, and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord, Amen. Message of the Most Holy Virgin Mary to Vicar, August 13, 2023. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, I bless you, I love you you are my children. I come again before each one of you, before humanity, in order to give you the honey of my motherly love. I come to guide you, to my Divine Son. I come to awaken you from the somnolence, in which you look at everything that happens, knowing that the axis of spiritual life is my Divine Son, and that without my Divine Son you are nothing, and you know it. I call you to take the initiative, as children of my Divine Son, to pray in unity and faith, and in abandonment to the Father's will. Humanity, dominated by everything that reaches the unconscious finds itself overcome by a system, that has one goal which is having power over moral values, in order to undermine every human being. Going from aberration to aberration, from sacrilege to sacrilege, from fall to fall, humanity is coming closer to experiencing its own purification. In the midst of diseases of new regulations concerning travel from one country to another, in continual strife, and attacks between countries war is gathering strength, and will explode. Pray, my children, pray. You see war as being far off yet it is not far off. Pray, my children, pray for France, pray for Africa, it is necessary. Pray, my children, pray for the Middle East, prayer is necessary. Pray, my children, pray for humanity. Dearly beloved of my Immaculate Heart, the Third World War will occur due to the rebellion humanity's lack of conversion, and the rejection of my Divine Son. Be assured that you are in the final stretch, of the fulfillment of my prophecies. Without waiting, without delay, convert now, my children. Darkness is covering the earth, extinguishing minds, hardening hearts, raising voices against my Divine Son, dividing family members, and distancing them from God. This darkness is the darkness of the devil, he has come to some of my children first, sees them frozen their feelings emptied them of love, and flooded them with interests of all kinds. My beloved angel of peace, will come to the help of those who ask him to overthrow the devil, to remove him from human beings, who live with hearts of stone, flooded by materialistic interests and once foreign to living according to the will of my divine son. This spiritual darkness progresses alongside discouragement, and deception, finding an echo in people who lack God. Ask in prayer, for the coming of the beloved angel of peace. Ask in prayer for yourselves, faithful remnant. Repent, make reparation, pray. I bless you with my love. Conversion, my children, conversion. Mother Mary. Hail Mary most pure conceived without sin. Message of Saint Michael the Archangel to Vicar, August 3, 2023. Beloved children of our King, and Lord Jesus Christ. My sword remains aloft not only as a sign of protection, and defense for humanity, but as a sign that human beings must aspire to be spiritual. The devil is constantly striving to lead you astray, and is presenting you with a world that is always the same, putting on a mask so that you would not see the truth, but a distorted moment of reality. The peoples will rise up against their rulers, and revolts will become more constant violence will become customary. 
Man is becoming entrenched in evil, and chaos is coming. Religion will be undermined, and society dulled they will impose. A single religion people will turn against one another over the single religion, and persecutions will even come within families, Spain, France, England, Germany, and Poland will be attacked, they will be betrayed not by foreigners, but by those to whom those nations have given shelter. Freedom has been reduced to an idea, so that man would resign himself to not having freedom, to not thinking, and not acting, but to letting other brothers decide about his life. This time is turning like the blades of a windmill, without being seen, just as the wind keeps the blades in motion, so it is at the moment. The wind of evil keeps evil minds in constant motion, with evil constantly acting upon humanity. Beloved children of our King, and Lord Jesus Christ, you must change now, if you wish to save your soul. You must be closer to our King, and Lord Jesus Christ in our Queen, and Mother, so that the Divine Hand would sustain you, and the love of our Queen, and Mother draw you to the open side of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Stay alert, you are heading towards the fulfillment of grave, and great events already known to you, through the revelations, beloved so that love would strengthen you, and keep you within the works, and actions of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, children of our King, and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, the sun will become aggressive towards man, changing Earth's climate. Pray, children of our King, and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, technology is endangered due to the Sunday pray, children of our King, and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, humanity is in danger, due to the advancement of those who hold power. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, keep the faith at all times. Being creatures of faith, causes my legion's protection for you to be maintained. Convert, be beloved children of our Queen, and Mother, who is guiding the Angel of Peace before his appearance in defense of mankind. Keep inner peace so that you would be enlightened by the Most Holy Trinity. I bless you, beloved children of our King, and Lord Jesus Christ, Saint Michael the Archangel. Hail Mary most pure conceived without sin. We have come to the end of today's message. Brothers and sisters, we are sure that this message blessed you, so we are hoping that you could share it with others. And also please go to the comments session now, and thank Vika for this message, and lastly please hit the like button. May the good Lord bless us all, and our families, Amen.